This is the top 10 guns for COD Mobile Season 3. And we're starting off with a bang. Being the UL, it's actually dropped significantly through the last few months simply because everything around it is also getting buffed like it had done previously. It's still a great option, however, similarly to that of COD Mobile itself, which you can download using the description down below as they've sponsored today's video. Usually you guys know I like to put the snipers in the honorable mentions, whereas instead of giving them a spot, I just throw the loadouts up on the screen and mention them like these assault rifles and other automatic weapons but I've actually decided to include them for this season. Let me know if you like the change. However, number nine is actually the PP-19 and CBR. Splendid options for a good gamer, but they're particularly good for those who manage to miss a lot of shots. You have huge mags. Now, for the first time in a long time, we've actually got the DLQ. Remember, I previously left snipers off this list entirely just simply because they were too OP, but now we've got a range and many different ones to choose from with many different statistics that vary how you play them. This is obviously a staple and to be honest could be higher up our list if it wasn't for the best sniper in the game. And for the ones I'm not putting on any of the top 10 with their own respective spot, here's the loadouts for them too. Number seven is actually a combined two assault rifles, which have both dropped quite significantly out of the top five entirely, being the Growl and Kilo. Hear me out, the Kilo is still a great weapon and so is the Growl, but we've entered a new meta where two tap ARs are reigning supreme and they just cannot keep up to the same level that they once could even two months ago. Something that recently just got buffed, however, is the Man of War. And this thing is insane. Don't even get me started with the brand new Thermite bag. You you can two tap people without even needing to hit their head using this thing. Granted, it takes a while for the thermite to actually do its full damage because it takes damage over time. And also the mag only has 15 bullets until you need to reload. So you're probably only gonna get two to three kills at most. However, it's still insane. Now we're moving on to what I deem and believe is the best SMG in the game, the Finnick. It was dominant in champs and I still see it everywhere for close range killers in ranked and also the pro scene. But in at number four is none other than the Edge VK. It was recently placed as high as number one on the list, but I decided to take it down a notch as there's another AR that's better than it. And also since I'm including pretty much every single gun into this list instead of taking ones out due to technicalities i think there's a couple more better than it it's still an outstanding weapon of choice and you should definitely use it but i think the sks is better and that's exactly why we've put it in here the number three spot you shouldn't even need to mention why this thing is so good you guys already know and it's been here for multiple years on end if you're new just know you need to be extremely skilled to use it effectively because if you miss any shots you're gonna die regardless just eclipsing it, however, is the Tundra. Even after its nerf, it is still one of the most dominant snipers we've ever had in the entire history of COD Mobile, if not the most dominant bolt to grace our screens. I love it. You love it. Everybody loves it. However, there's one gun that is back to the number one spot where it belongs after so many years outside of the top 10. It's the glorious DR Edge, which I actually have my own Ferg's Nooker skin for. You can't get it anymore. Subscribe if one of your favorite guns made the list.